Everybody smell different. Yeah. Excellent. Well, I think we should do some experiments to get to the bottom of this. Can you give me a hand? Yeah. Brilliant. Well, let's get started. Right. Thank you. Ready, Ollie? It's my big moment. Standing by, ready to send lots of messages. So let's have a look at all the things you use to make you smell nice. So, Dad, what do you use? Um, soaps, deodorants, shampoos. Mum. Fabric softener, washing powder, perfume. What do you use to make you smell nice? Soap. Soap? Now, would you mind if I have a rummage around and see if I can gather some of these things? Oh, Not at all. Yeah. But in fact, Roddy, can you give me a hand? Excellent. Let's go and have a look. things to make you smell lovely. Fantastic. But do you think you could tell who uses which smell if you could only use your nose? Do you think you could? Well, you're actually going to be my helpful assistant. That's easy. They can see which one's which. No, I bet Nina will ask them to shut their eyes so that they have to use their noses. Now, Mum and Dad, can you close your eyes, please? <gasps> see? I told you. I told you. You're right, Belle. They are going to have to pay lots of attention to the smells. I better get to work. Why don't you hold this underneath your mum's nose? Mm -hmm. Dad will have a smell too. Okay, you can open your eyes. And who do you think would that smell? Me. It's my perfume. I think that's mum. Roddy, are they right? <laughs> <laughs> well done. So close your eyes again. Where's that smell? Oh, that's carrying on. Smells like his hair. I think that's Roddy and his little sister. And is that right, Roddy? <laughs> Yay! That's fantastic. You did really well there. So when your nose got a whiff of one of the lovely smelly things, it sent a message to the brain. That was me, that was. I did that. I did that. And your brain remembers that that's a smell your mum wears or your dad wears. Now, we all put on things to make us smell lovely. What, what do you think would happen if we took all these lovely smells away? Do you think we'd still smell of anything? Hmm, well, I think we should find out in the next experiment. So we need to start by taking the smells away so it's into the shower for you lot. And remember, don't use any soap. We want to just smell your smell. So, Mum, you're first. <laughs> too big but actually they're exactly the way I meant them to be because they're all the same size. I'll explain all later on. They do all look the same except they've got a photo of themselves on the front. Nina says we'll find out why later. But you've had showers haven't you? Mm -hmm. Fantastic. So we've got rid of those deodorant and soap and shampoo smells. So now we need to get your smell onto your t-shirt. So I'd like you to keep the t-shirts on for the next hour or so and then we'll take them off and see if they smell different. Okay? But first, it's time for Nina's workout. <laughs> We're going to have one minute on each activity and when I blow my whistle like this, Oh. Then you have to move on to the next activity, and I want to see you sweating. Is that okay? okay yeah. Excellent. Let's go. Nice 
nice and sweaty, folks. So let's go inside, change our T-shirts, and see if they smell any different. Okay. Let's go. Right, right Roddy, can you do me a favour and close your eyes, please, and keep them shut? question was, does everyone smell different? So, we're going to smell the t-shirts now, right? Turn around. Ah, that's why the t-shirts are all the same size. They all look the same to Roddy, so he won't be able to cheat. He'll only be able to tell which one's which when Nina shows him the photo. Have a sniff of the first t-shirt. That smells like Daddy. <laughs> it smells like your dad. Dad, can you Did turn it around for us? I'm not sure, Rod. Uh -huh. Oh, you are right. Well done. Right, let's move on and smell the next T-shirt. Get your nose right in there and get a good nose full. That smells like me. It smells like you. <laughs> Mum, can you turn that round? Do we think he's right? Are you right? <laughs> it's you. Brilliant, Dala. Come over here and smell the last one. Well, that smells like my mum. It's your mum. Let's have a little look. It is your mum. Fantastic. Well done. You get every single one right. Spot on. And who smelled the nicest? Definitely me. And uh, who smelled the nastiest? Definitely daddy. <laughs> oh, yes. I could have told you that, Nina. Nina, <laughs> Emma. You wanted to know, does everyone smell different? And today we found out that the answer is yes. <laughs> we use things to smell different, but even when we wash those smells away, we still have our own special smell. We're born with it, nobody else has it, and we can even recognise people by their smell, can't we? So, have you had a good day today, Roddy? Yeah. Oh, I'm pleased, because I'd better be going. So, take care of yourself. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> definitely worked the hardest today. It's been a non-stop sniffathon, smelling all that lovely perfume, deodorant and shampoo. Wow, we! But you also had to sniff those stinky t-shirts, sis! Well, I was working hard too, you know. There was plenty of bouncing on the trampoline and kicking and hitting balls. There were loads of sounds to keep me busy. Everyone had to listen very carefully to Nina so that they knew what to do. Oh, and that whistle was very loud. Yeah, I was pretty busy. There were balls to watch out for in football and swing ball, and everyone had to watch and keep safe in the middle of the trampoline. Well, that was great fun. I hope you've had a sensational time too. Bye! Bye! Bye.